It is high noon on January 26, 2011, and the Wednesday edition of the Daily Journal is upon the streets. Mike Fry here with Nicole Leonhardt. Nicole, last night President Barack Obama gives his second State of the Union address amid a call for civility because of the tragedy recently in Arizona. And it certainly was a civil tone, and many people saw some uh, good parts in the speech, Republicans and Democrats alike. However, Republicans still think it's just a uh, tax and spend plan by the President. Yeah, I watched a little bit of that last night, and um, I don't know, you can still tell that there's there's gripes and it feels like we're not getting as much solved because there is no, no one's willing to give way at all. Hey, cop, politics is the art of compromise. You people in Washington, let's have some bipartisanship. Let's compromise so we get this country moving, get some people working again. How about it? Okay, I'm off my right. soapbox, okay? Um, a historic location in Wilmington is up for sale. Nicole, that would be the launching pad drive-in. It's on the uh, former U.S. Route 66. And what's uh, famous about it is the 28-foot Gemini giant statue out front. Well, guess what? The owner wants to sell it. For how much? For a mere $650,000. That restaurant and that statue could be yours, Nicole. Little out of my price range, but... Mine too, but I must <laughs> say I've always enjoyed driving by the Gemini giant. My understanding is that's not a... Uh, it's not a f uh, fine dining establishment. They have burgers and fries and shakes and that sort of thing. Might be a nice place to stop. And so, uh, and uh, colleague Dennis Yanka, who's uh, familiar with these things, says it's probably the most recognizable site on uh, the old Route 66 between Chicago and Springfield. So, up for sale. If somebody wants to t uh, take the plunge, you can own the Gemini Giant and the launching pad drive-in restaurant. All right, have your own landmark. Mm -hmm. What's going on with the weather? Ah, uh, not so good. Sounds like we might get a snow shower tomorrow. Dennis Yonke has the forecast. Hi, this is Dennis Yonke here in the weather office. I'm done with writing duties for a little while and I'm going to talk about the weather. Today we're going to see a high of 30 and a low of 14, mostly cloudy skies. And tomorrow we may get up to 28 only and a low of 20. Um, by Friday we'll be above freezing again at 33 and a low of 24. But since there's a little bit of snow coming tomorrow, why don't I ask you these two trivia questions? And uh, we'll see how you do. Well, you know what we'll do? We'll see how the camera crew does. What do you think the largest snowflake ever recorded in the United States? Uh, how big a cross do you think that was? The largest snowflake? I'll say three inches. Wow. Five times too small. No the way. biggest snowflake in uh, Montana, they say 15 inches. Oh, I would like to have seen that. Okay, how about this one then? Uh, 10 inches of snow will melt down and equal how many inches of water? One. She's right on it. She's good. We're back to the newsroom then. Nicole, we are back. And most everybody watches TV. You watch TV, right? Just a little. I don't okay. watch it too much, but yeah. Yeah, I don't. I'm not a. Uh, I'm not totally glued to it, but I watch a fair amount. Do you watch enough to rank your top three television shows as part of Let's Rank Them, which appears each Wednesday on the News at Noon? I do, but it's going to be a little embarrassing. Let's try it out, Nicole. You might be surprised. Why don't you let our News at Nooners know what you like? All right. Uh, number three, it's going to be It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. I think that show is hysterical. Um, number two would be South Park. Again, I think they make fun of like some pretty good issues. South Park is a good program. So I like that. And then number one is Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Aqua Teen Hunger Force. It is about um, fast foods who are a detective agency, but they don't really ever do any detective work. It's pretty funny. Okay, I'll have to check that out sometime. All right. There's Nicole's top three. Here's my top three. I'll preface it by saying you're not going to find American Idol on this list. You're not going to find Dancing with the Stars on this list. You're not going to find uh, Glee on this list. I know they're popular, but I don't watch them. How, and the sporting events, I watch a lot of those, but I don't consider that a single unified program. So we'll go with my top three. Beginning with number three, 7 o'clock each weeknight on the PBS Channel 11, Chicago Tonight. I like Chicago Tonight. I watch it often, frequently in the winter when it's too cold outside to go outside, but uh, I like that show. One of the reasons I like I mean, on the other station, you got Bill O'Reilly hollering on one station, Rachel Maddow hollering on another station. I don't need all that hollering. Give me the cerebral approach of Chicago tonight. That's number three. Right. Number two on A&E, Monday nights, I believe it's 8 o'clock, Intervention. That's a documentary about people with serious drug and alcohol problems. Their lives have spun out of control, so their families and their loved ones come together to get them into an intervention and get them into the treatment. I like intervention. I can't explain why. I just watch it frequently. I've seen that show and it is pretty good. Yes. So. 
And number one, and uh, this is probably the silliest one on the list, but I like it quite a bit, that would be Man V Food. Man versus Food each Wednesday on the Travel Channel. It's also frequently on a rerun. Are you familiar at all? I am, and I heard you think you can take on Adam. Adam Richman is the host, and what he does, he goes all across the country going into these restaurants where they eat these different foods, and he loves food and eats them, and there'll always be a challenge, like Adam's going to eat this big five-pound steak, or Adam's going to eat this 32-inch pizza with all the toppings, or Adam's going to eat, eat 50 chicken wings in X amount of times. And there has been times, yes, Nicole, I've said to myself, I can take Adam. You said uh, like a six pound sub. You yeah, a sub one time he couldn't get through, and I ought to took him that day. Okay, <laughs> the wings I probably take him on, the tacos I could probably take him on if he eats fried chicken too. He wants to throw that out there. <laughs> He's done. I'm winning. All right, well, let's invite Adam here because I would love to see you take him on. Adam, if we can get together, I know a number of places that serve some good chicken here locally, so I'm throwing down the gauntlet right here on the news at noon. All right, with chicken, chicken specific or other foods? Uh, whatever, okay. but no breakfast food. He's good on breakfast foods. I don't like him as much. Okay. Before we end, I want to throw out a uh, happy birthday to my old boyhood hood friend, Greg Dahl from Lakewood, California, turns 48 today. Don't know if he watches the news at noon, but if you do, Greg, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Greg. And that'll do it for the news at noon. You can subscribe to the Daily Journal by calling 815-937-3322, and you can also pick it up on a newsstand. So until tomorrow, stay informed and watch some TV, but not too much. Not too much. Take five, honey. I want to turn the radio. Thank you. I want to put PBS on your screen instead of Man vs. Food. I brought.